Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Heroes of Might and Magic 3. We are doing the Tunnels and Troglodytes campaign and we're on um, the first scenario that I am blanking on the name right now. A Devilish Plan, I believe, is what it's called. Uh, sorry, I, uh, if I sound a little funny, I'm, I'm nursing a bit of a cold. So, um, please forgive me, I hope my voice uh, sounds okay. <coughs> we are in dire need of some wood. I cannot believe I ignored, uh, the, the wood pile for so long. Um, like, that's an actual issue, so I'm, <laughs> I'm bringing up my heroes to deal with that, hopefully. Alright, we got some more gods, and some more imps. I'm gonna have her stay there and get her magic points back. Because she currently has five, which isn't completely horrible, but isn't great either. Alright, oh, I think that's an inexhaustible card of ore, so we are totally gonna take on these jerks. Although they're going to drain my spell points. I mean, not that they, you know, drain like a bajillion of them, but especially when you're starting out, you know, every every spell point counts <coughs> when you only have a couple spell points, so. Or when you only have, you know, 20. Uh, I'm not convinced what I want to do with you yet. You're going to smash these people and you kill two of them. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. It's the one thing I really hate about the winter is the the cold, the cold season because you know, you never know who has a cold and it's like it can, I mean, if you share, I don't know anything with someone. I mean, not necessarily, like, food or drink. I mean, obviously that, but, like, you know, if you're hanging out with someone, or if you're in a bookstore sitting next to someone, or, like, a library or something, like, if someone has a cold, you just don't know. I'm not really 100% sure how I got this cold, but, uh, but, yeah, so, that's what I have, and, uh, it's frustrating. Uh, right, so we got the Inexhaustible Cart of Lumber, which gives us two, I believe it's two extra wood a day, um, which is nice, because that means that now we'll get four wood a day without having to, like, get a second <coughs> wood sawmill. Oh, man. Plus, I'm like, I can't believe I waited so long, because these guys are real pansies. Like, they move very quickly, and that's frustrating, but, I mean, they just, they are weaklings. Well, they do get to attack twice. Great, now they get to attack four times. That's nice. <sighs> Sigh. It's the game out to get me. Okay. want. That's what I really want. I want one of those. But I guess we'll go with cages. Because more hellhounds are definitely good. Oh. Sure. I'm cool with not having to fight, like, another random group of, uh, people. Oh, where is this Doodlehead. Pack lots. Please. Please. Right? Because that was a pack of... No, pike, but this is a big deal. Lots of battle dwarves. That could be mildly obnoxious. But whatever. We'll take him. With our archers. And our... Superior awesomeness. Our gogs. Lots of wraiths. Yuck, yuck, yuck. These wraiths were irritating me. Um, well, I don't really have anything better for her to do. Holy moly. 
Yeah, because I'm about to buy a devil thing, so. I guess we go back down here. Well, that seems stupid. Eh, whatever, we'll just take on the wraiths. You don't scare me! <coughs> I mean, I'm not worried about surviving. I will survive this battle. It's more just about, like, well, how many losses am I going to take? Because I don't like taking losses. And while as frustrating as it can be sometimes to work with heroes who are level 1 and, like, suck, <laughs> basically have no sort of, like, advantages, um, I much prefer starting out a campaign with a level 1 hero so that I can develop them in the way that I want to. Like, I, I hate the scenarios or campaigns where, like, you start out with, like, a level 6 or a level 10 hero, I mean, level 11 or 10 or whatever is way worse than level 6. Level 6 you can still kind of work with. But, like, you know, you basically look at their skills and it's like, oh, you have a bunch of stuff that I don't want. This is useless. Like, great. Awesome. Like, <laughs> this is not how I play the game. And it, I guess it adds a different challenge because you have to work with, like, these subpar skills. But it's also, like, so it's really also really frustrating because... Sometimes it's like, alright, I need you to have wisdom, right? Like, it's the most important skill in the game, and you are, like, supposed to be my main hero, and you don't have wisdom. But you have, like, all these other skills that are, like, completely useless, like eagle eye or luck or some nonsense like that. And so I find it very frustrating. And so I'll be honest, I have restarted stereos. I, like, look and see what my skills are, and then I just restart if they're, like, completely useless. Like... I don't need them to be perfect, like, I don't need to get, like, my ideal set when I do this random draw, but I need it to be something I can work with. <clears throat> because otherwise, like, if I can't work with it, if I can't, like, I don't know, <laughs> I'm like, if it doesn't give me something that I want, then it's just, I mean, it just makes, it makes the scenarios very hard. Because, I mean, there are just certain... I mean, you just... You need spells. You need spells. <laughs> and there are definitely certain scenarios that, like, you cannot win without spells. Or even certain spells. Or at least I have not found a way to beat them without spells. And we'll see those when those happen. But, um... Yeah. So as much as, like, it's frustrating to me right now that... <clears throat> my, uh... My heroes are... I'm kind of pathetic in terms of their skills and like their spell points and things like that. It's also it's okay because I would much rather have them this way. Plus, I mean, you know, the game compensates for it. It's not like you're getting put into this impossible mission that like you need the best people ever. Oh, the hat's a punk pack of monks instead of uh, instead of a scholar. Makes sense, guarding a hill for it. We don't get to just upgrade our creatures for free now, do we? Okay. Yeah, no. I mean, I think we can take this guy on. And seriously, we took on a, lots of griffins. I think... Ooh, basic wisdom! That is what I am talking about! That's what I'm talking about. Great. Give me him a chance to run away. Um. Oh, you know what I haven't checked yet? Who are our heroes in here? Maybe I have checked this. Sarfax. Okay. I will take him. And then, uh, next turn I'll load them up with some dudes. Actually, well, let's, let's get you over here first. Basic air magic, that's what I'm talking about. And then, uh, I don't need anything else here, because I don't need the birthing pools. I mean, this would give me more, like, imps, but who needs imps? Seriously. <clears throat> Oh crap, where did you go? Oh, you're back, you're back over here. 
whatever. I'm going to run him down. Because that's what I like to do. I don't want... Like, I have to beat the stupid gold dragon. But I might as well take out these people first. So I don't have to worry about them coming to attack me. Alright. <clears throat> That's fine. Kill off the Master Gremlins. We don't really care about them, do we? No, we don't. Can attack the skeletons. <laughs> you do. There were three of them, and they did one damage. It's awesome. Goodness gracious, people. It's kind of incredible. Forget that Pikemen are not as much of chubs as like the rest of the level one creatures. They actually have some health on them. Oh my goodness! Yeah, my nose is like stuffed up. I can hear it now. I'm like, oh goodness, it's so bad. I'm gonna hold out though. I'm not gonna make gross nose blowing sounds. Unless absolutely necessary. I'm like, yeah, we've already made it, you know, 11 minutes into this video. We don't need to, like, gross everyone out. Advanced water magic. Although maybe talking about it just grosses people out. I don't know. People are weird. Um, oh wait, do you have a mage guild? No, you don't. You have nothing. You have a guardhouse. Really. Whatever. Yeah, you guys are useless too. Might as well. Okay, Zarfax. Um, dude, we need some gold up in here. Although we have a capital. No, we don't. We don't have a capital. We don't even have a city hall. Alright. That is the next order of business, clearly. Wow. I'm like, you take a day or two off, and all of a sudden, everything just goes out the window about this campaign. Holy moly. Alright. I need money for that. But I can probably afford to buy him some gods, right? Yeah. Alright. Like, it's not the best force, but it should be able to do something. Not with those archers, though. Ooh, 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 ooh. Lots of Cerberi. Are these also lots of Cer- No, they're still a pack. What do you have? <sighs> Alright, you're gonna stay there for a day, Zarfax. Just so uh, I can get more money. You are also gonna just chill out here in case someone decides to attack us. Yep. <clears throat> Alright. Now, where did this ridiculous person. Oh! Oh. I see. He went to his little home. With that. Shoot. With that. I think they're the same. Uh, Alright. We're gonna try and do this in the time we have left. I hope it works. We're gonna have to move it. Ugh, stupid ballista. Kill a couple of them. Not a lot, but a couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, he took the bait. He didn't go after my archers. That is what I'm talking about. Okay, good. I just really did not want him going after. Of course! Yo, yes, you're also going after the imps. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Alright, we're running out of time. Crap heads. Alright, well, clearly I'm going to win this battle, so I'm probably going to end up cutting it short. 